My name is Nova, and I'm a sneaker reseller. Join me in my journey, where I turn hype sneakers into riches. So these are today's sales. So the big one are these Dunk Lowe's Jackie Robinsons. Uh, I sold them for about $415 on eBay. The actual payout price after fees and shipping is expected to be a little bit lower than that, but can't complain. That's a lot of profit for a single shoe that I just copped very casually. So anyways, along with New Balances, Supreme Air Force Ones, so I sold three of them. All these three Supreme Air Force Ones came from the same person, probably it was purchased by somebody who changes their Air Force Ones every week because it's all the same size. So yeah, and also sold an Onyx slide. Not a bad day at all in terms of sales. So I'm gonna go ahead and pack this up now. This morning I was able to cop two shoes. The first one, this blue shoes, I don't even remember what the name of it is. Cuts something, the name is gonna be right here. But apparently resale prices on these are really, really good. This was basically a shock drop on Nike. So thankfully I was actually at my computer this time. I've been missing shock drops left, right, and center. Just yesterday there was a huge shock drop for the Panda Dunks and GS sizing on True Palace. And I missed it. Like I was in front of my computer, but I think what happened was I literally got up for five seconds and then sat back down and then it was too late. So I was feeling a little bit emo about that for about a few hours um, but all good I was able to cop a shock drop today uh, a shoe with decent resale price so I'm pretty happy about that and I was also able to get a nice new balance from finish line this is a brick flip it ended up being on sale for $60 and then I used a finish line rewards point thing and then I got it down to $40 so yeah I should have no problem selling that and that is about it as far as cops for today. Hopefully there's no shock drops uh, throughout the day because um, I have a doctor's appointment today. So that means something's definitely gonna drop today. I really, I really hope I'm wrong. But anyways, in front of me, we do have the sales for today. I sold one of these uh, LeBrons and these Dunks. In about five minutes, we have some Crocs dropping. I never got these Crocs because their release procedure is a little bit strange. It's not really that standard. Uh, so I don't know, I got a little bit confused with it, but hopefully uh, I'm actually gonna give it my best shot this time. But truth be told, I'm not expecting anything. Uh, my track record with these Crocs, just not there. So I would say this is gonna be like a learning phase for me, but we're gonna give it a try. Hopefully we come out with something today, but not counting on it. Whoa, 500 errors. Ah, oh, this is kind of trash. Gotta just wait, bruh. Wait and uh, pray. It's the only thing I can do right now. 26,000 second queue. How long is that? Seconds to hours. Seven hour queue? What the hell? <laughs> Yeah, I'm not, bro. I'm. I might as well just walk away from the computer. This is. This is dumb, bro. I, 
there's nothing I can do. I just gotta wait. So I'm gonna stop recording because this takes up valuable hard drive space and I will be back if anything cool or anything interesting happens. So as you can see, they messed up their release and they decided to reschedule the release for tomorrow instead. This is exactly what I mean by their release procedure never being like a normal drop. Anyways, I'll see you tomorrow. Alright, so they messed up the release really bad last time. I'm gonna be honest, I'm not looking forward to the changes that they've made to the website. Long story short, I just gotta be prepared for anything that happens. So hopefully we come out with at least one. Uh, I still feel like this is gonna be a mess of a release, so we'll see. Dude, Wrath actually took everything. Well, that drop was hot garbage. Wrath was the only one that really checked out. People were hitting so many pairs. Shout out to my boy A1. He got over 500 pairs, which is absolutely crazy to me. As for everybody else and all the other bot users, uh, they didn't really hit anything off initial. I believe Valor started to get some checkouts during the restocks, but that's literally when I stopped my tasks, but I'm not too butthurt over it. Anyways, today we did sell these things and I also sold some hats. These I shipped out already. So yeah, gotta go ahead and pack these up quite a lot. So I'm gonna get to it now. And we got some shoes that came in. We got some Panda Dunks starting to come in. All these from Nike. Got these uh, Jordan 1 Shadow Toes from Nike. And this was from Yeezy Day. Got this a little bit late. Got it from my other address. And we also have a box. Another one from Nike. This time, there's only a piece of paper in it. This is exactly how I got this box like this. Kind of messed up, but no like sign of like incredibly severe damage. I've had boxes that were much worse off than this. However, I do think that these boxes generally are very, very, very bad because typically when Nike sends out these boxes, you see this tape over here that usually isn't there. I believe this box is just thrown on with some really weak adhesive. And therefore, if like this gets crushed or something, then it's very possible for it to just fall out. And since there's no tape, there's nothing supporting it. The shoes inside might just literally slip out of the box and then that's it. Your shoes are gone or maybe somebody stole it. I don't know. If I had to take a guess, I don't think anyone really intentionally like ripped this open and then like took the shoes out. Maybe they did, who knows? Maybe I'm just being uh, naive, but I feel like it's more likely that the shoes fell out and then maybe they just stole it that way. Like, oh, pair of shoes. I have a hundred boxes here and I don't know which, I'm not gonna try and figure out which shoe this box came from and they probably took it that way, but Either way, Nike should definitely stop using these trash ass boxes. They should just stick with regular boxes that everybody else uses. So now the question is, what was this shoe supposed to be? Because I gotta go ahead and remove that from my inventory list. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of digging into this. So hopefully it wasn't anything that would have cost me a lot of money. Cause I already lost uh, the Travis Scott Jordan 1s, that was a huge L. A th over a thousand dollars worth of potential profit just vanished. Uh, so we'll have a look at what this was supposed to be. All right, so I found it. It was the Jordan 1 mid 
light smoke anthracite so that would probably be around 20 to 40 dollars ish that i lost from a potential profit so it's not that big of a deal but it just sucks that this had to happen all right well ended up losing a package but i made it back basically so i copped two panda dunks uh, from Shoe Palace. It's a little bit expensive though. I paid about $127 per pair. Man, that shipping cost is not a freaking joke, but I should still be able to make some decent profit off of it. I was hoping to hit more, but you know, I'll take it. For once, I was able to actually catch a shock drop. Let's go. Here are the sales that I've made between today, yesterday, and I think the day before that. And my eBay sales volume, honestly, not looking too bad at all. It's pretty good. And I kind of need it to be that way because tomorrow we do have a crazy drop. We have more Yeezy slides. And typically when it comes to Yeezy slides, I'm quite consistent at getting a lot every single time. So I need to make some room in my inventory storage area thing, which is basically my living room and my living room looks like a disaster because of it. I don't really like having a lot of shoes all around me 24 seven, but I kind of had to resort to it. Being that I am being a little bit patient with some of my sales. I don't just try to get rid of things instantly right away, although that would be nice. Basically, I try to list my items a little bit higher. As a consequence though, my sales volume does take a little bit of a hit. But um, anyways, I gotta start setting up for the easy slide release. So hopefully we do well on those. Not really sure. After Yeezy day, my expectations are very, very low. I'm expecting everything to go wrong. I'm expecting it to be a horrific release, but there's really only one way to find out and that's to run for the drop tomorrow. So hopefully my streak when it comes to Yeezy slides does not break tomorrow. Gonna go ahead and get this packed up now. And then after that, we're gonna start working on my setup for tomorrow's drop. 